This is the story of Tiffany Joseph, a 32-year-old woman who was brutally tortured by her boyfriend, Billy Ray Cromer when she was pregnant with his child and then murdered by his cousin, Spencer Lewis Cromer III, two years later in a murder-for-hire plot. She was in love with someone who turned out to be her worst nightmare. She wanted to get away from him, and get justice for what he did until the end but was silenced by the evil of her abuser. Tiffany Joseph was born on June 15, 1990, in Detroit, Michigan. She was the youngest of four siblings and grew up in a loving and supportive family. Her parents were James and Patricia Joseph, who worked as a mechanic and a nurse, respectively. They raised Tiffany and her siblings in a modest but comfortable home on the west side of Detroit. Tiffany was described by her relatives and friends as a kind, caring, and beautiful person, who always had a smile on her face. She was popular and well-liked at school, and had many friends. She was also a good student, who excelled in math and science. She loved music, dancing, and spending time with her loved ones. She was especially close to her older sister, Tamara, who was her best friend and confidant. Tiffany dreamed of becoming a nurse. She wanted to follow in her mother's footsteps and help people in need. She graduated from Cass Technical High School in 2008, with honors. She then enrolled in the nursing program at Wayne State University, where she received a scholarship. She was determined to achieve her goals and make her family proud but fate had other plans for her. In 2019, Tiffany met Billy Ray Cromer, a 35-year-old man who lived in the same neighborhood as her. Billy had a troubled past. Born on April 12, 1987, in Detroit, Michigan, he was the oldest of three siblings and grew up in a dysfunctional family. His father was an alcoholic and a drug addict while his mother died when he was 15 years old. They started dating and soon moved in together. However, their relationship was far from happy. Billy was a violent and abusive partner, who often beat and choked Tiffany. He also forced her to take and isolated her from her family and friends. Tiffany tried to leave him several times, but he always threatened to kill her or harm her loved ones if she did. In October 2020, Tiffany found out that she was pregnant with Billy's child. She hoped that this would change him for the better and that they could start a family together. But she was wrong. On October 20, 2020, Billy attacked Tiffany in their home and tortured her for hours. He grabbed her by the neck, choked her, and punched her in the head and stomach. He also forced her to swallow several unknown prescription pills. Tiffany tried to protect her stomach and the baby during the assault, but the baby did not survive. Billy then took Tiffany to the hospital, where she was treated for her injuries. She also lost her unborn child. The hospital staff notified the police about Tiffany's condition, and Billy was arrested and charged with assault with intent to do great bodily harm, torture, and felonious assault. He was held on a $2 million bond and faced up to life in prison if convicted. Tiffany was devastated by the loss of her baby, and the trauma of the abuse. She decided to testify against Billy and cooperate with the prosecutors. She also obtained a personal protection order against him and moved to a different address. She tried to rebuild her life and heal from the pain but she had no idea what awaited her. Billy was not done with Tiffany. He was furious that she had left him, and that she was going to testify against him. He wanted to silence her, and get revenge. He also wanted to avoid prison and get out of his bond. So, he came up with a sinister plan. He contacted his younger cousin, Spencer Lewis Cromer III, who was 18 years old and also lived in Detroit. He offered him money to kill Tiffany and gave him her new address. Billy was able to communicate with Spencer from his jail cell, using a contraband cell phone that he had smuggled in. He called Spencer several times and instructed him on how to execute the murder. He told him to use a gun and to make sure that Tiffany was dead. He also told him to act fast, before the trial started. He promised to pay him $10,000 for the hit and to share his bond money with him if he got out. He also threatened to kill him if he failed or betrayed him. Spencer was a young and impressionable man, who looked up to his cousin as a role model. He was also in need of money and had no qualms about killing someone. He agreed to do Billy's bidding and got ready for the job. He did not care about Tiffany or the consequences of his actions. On July 5, 2022, Spencer went to Tiffany's home, armed with a gun that he obtained from one of his friends. He checked the area and waited for the right moment to strike. He then knocked on the door, and when Tiffany opened it, he shot her multiple times. He then fled the scene, leaving Tiffany bleeding on the floor. 
Tiffany's neighbors heard the gunshots and called 911. The police and the paramedics arrived shortly after, but it was too late. Tiffany was pronounced dead at the scene. According to the authorities, Spencer shot Tiffany at around 11 p.m. He used a .40 caliber handgun, which he later admitted to the police that he got from a friend. The police launched an investigation into the murder and quickly identified Spencer as the shooter by using surveillance footage from the neighborhood and by tracing his phone records. They also found the gun he used to kill Tiffany in his possession. They arrested him on July 21, 2022, and charged him with first-degree premeditated murder and felony firearm. He confessed later that he was hired by Billy to kill Tiffany. He said that he followed Billy's instructions on where and when to find Tiffany and that he acted alone. He claimed a horrifying case of domestic abuse that later turned into a murder for hire plot that left a Detroit woman dead. A Detroit man and his nephew are behind bars tonight charged with the murder of Tiffany Joseph. This case follows a violent crime that dates back to October of 2020. The prosecution in that case ended up delayed because of the pandemic. Rod Maloney has been digging in on both cases tonight as this uncle and nephew both stand charged with murder. A lot more questions left asked than answered here because this house is burned out and a woman was found shot to death here. But we do not know whether the house burned before, during, or after. But there is one thing for certain. For its former resident, 32-year-old Tiffany Joseph, it was a very violent place. Detroit police called out here just before midnight on July 4th. They found Tiffany's body inside. She'd been shot. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Cromer, can you state your name for the record, please? Billy Cromer. Arraigned from behind bars today in the Wayne County Jail and wearing a COVID mask, 35-year-old Billy Ray Cromer. Here's a better look at his face. He's charged with trying to hire his nephew to kill his girlfriend, and he's facing a premeditated first-degree murder charge. Spencer Lewis Cromer III. Prosecutors say Spencer Lewis Cromer III agreed to the hired hit suggested by his uncle on the 4th of July, and he's now facing premeditated first-degree murder and felony firearms charges. But it was back in October of 2020 in the now gutted home that Detroit police and the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office say that Cromer beat a pregnant Tiffany Joseph so badly she lost her baby. The elder Cromer arrested by Detroit police charged with assault with intent to do great bodily harm, torture and felonious assault. That beating so bad, Prosecutor Kim Worthy at the time noted in a press release, quote, this office has been presented with well over 30,000 domestic violence warrants in just the last five years. I can unequivocally say that the alleged facts in this case are among the worst I have seen, end quote. And because of COVID closing down the 36th District Court, that case ended up repeatedly postponed. It is still on the docket for a motions hearing next week. And there is a pretrial scheduled for August 5th in the domestic violence case. And so far, there is no indication that that case won't proceed, even though the victim in the case has now passed. Back to you. What a case, Rod. So what about the murder cases, though? When do the defendants return to court? Well, uh, interesting you ask, Devin, because on August 5th, there's also going to be a probable cause hearing for the elder Cromer in this case. And also there is another preliminary examination a week later where we were likely to get still more background on what happened mm, yeah. in the murder case. Yeah. He claimed that he did not know Tiffany personally and that he did not have any motive other than money. The police also charged Billy with first degree premeditated murder while he was still in jail awaiting trial for the previous assault and torture. The cops took Billy and Spencer to court on July 23, 2022, where they faced a judge for the 36th District Court of Michigan, Judge Kenneth King, who is known for being a fair and impartial judge, who strives to uphold the rule of law and protect the rights of the citizens. They both said they were not guilty, but nobody believed them. The judge said they had to stay in jail until their trial, and they couldn't get out on bail. They had no chance of escaping or hurting anyone else. They also had to go back to court a few times. The first time was on August 5, 2022, when they had to show that there was a reason to charge them with murder. The second time was on August 12, 2022, when they had to show some evidence to prove their innocence. The prosecutors said that Billy and Spencer were guilty of first-degree premeditated murder and felony firearm. They said that both of them should spend the rest of their lives in prison, without parole. They also said that they might even ask for the death penalty. Tiffany's murder shocked and saddened her family, friends, and the community. 
They held a vigil for her and remembered her as a loving and gentle soul, who did not deserve to die. They also expressed their anger and disgust at Billy and Spencer and demanded justice for Tiffany. Our deepest condolences to the family of Tiffany Joseph. May her soul continue to rest in peace.